cloud. Our cloud is the most well thought out cloud product out on the market today. It is very intuitive, very capable. Everything that we can do from an appliance level besides uh, aside from taking an SDI and shoving it into the cloud somehow, we can do uh, in the cloud. All of our products physically live in Amazon's data center. So, and you're not touching anybody else's cloud system. They're, they're spun up as your cloud. You're not commingling with anybody else's video or data. You get a web GUI, you know how much you're using of the cloud. Uh, everything is very easily controlled and set up. You, you can buy it by the hour on a monthly basis, uh, an annual basis, a triannual basis, uh, and you get a, a website, you get an, uh, an IP address, and you can start creating your system from there. You can use all the tools in there, you can just use a few tools. It's all available to you uh, at that cost. So it's just really a matter of hours that you're using all the stuff in the cloud. We do consider this a platform as a service. You can get the video to it a couple different ways. If you're doing streaming, you can send us an RTP or RTMP stream. If you've got a device that's already sending, uh, already on site, capable of creating it, or you can get an Elemental uh, on site. So we do support a kind of a hybrid of on-prem and cloud. But if, you're, if you have anything already in the workflow that can create, say, an MPEG-4 RTP stream uh, or an RTMP, which is Flash stream, you, we'll give you the IP address to push that to. And from that, you can ingest the video, create all the different ABR rates, push it to Delta, do all the things that we were talking about doing it on the ground. Now you can also use it for transcoding too, so we can transcode in the cloud. and. Uh, you can do cloud bursting so you can if you have a lot of work that you're doing on-prem it will automatically burst up into the cloud from their on-prem solution and the conductor is what's controlling that it sees wow you've got so much in the queue on the ground I'm gonna burst it up to the cloud and start using the cloud infrastructure to start helping you with getting this work done so this is a workflow uh, an example of, of, of a hybrid so we can have all of this stuff on the ground where we need physical inputs for live uh, VOD and, and, and push things to Delta. And then we can also push it up. And you, if they're using AWS 3, uh, S3 storage, uh, we can uh, ingress and egress from uh, any storage that they're using within the AWS network uh, as well. So uh, in, in some of the leadership's minds, you know, it moves you from a CapEx, spending all that money to OpEx. Uh, sometimes those monies are a little bit easier to come by uh, than uh, buying all this equipment. Uh, again, monthly, annual, or triannually. What we're showing here is that it's really hard to predict how much equipment, like we discussed earlier, for the worst case scenario. Uh, and, and with the cloud, you can always move up to the cloud, investing less in the ground infrastructure and still be prepared for anything that may happen.